In this video, I'm going to show you how you could use GarageBand to create an audiobook for a text that you are studying. So start by scrolling along to the audio recorder option and tapping on voice. And that will open up your voice recorder. You can see the channel on the left hand side is flashing green when I'm speaking. So it's important to make sure that you've got a strong signal that goes green but not red, which means it's too loud. So I need to take that down until it's comfortably picking up my volume without going too loud. There are some other dials and controls in the middle that you can use to change how your voice sounds. And another good feature is if you tap on lead vocals, you'll see there's a lot of presets that you can use. So I'll choose radio ready for this one and record using those presets. Now you just want to record yourself reading your text. Before you start recording, press the plus at the top right and make sure that you tap on section A and select automatic so the time you can record for is not limited. I'm also going to switch off the metronome because I don't want any clicking on this track and I'm ready to record. I'm going to use the poem Visiting Hour by Norman McCaig for this example. So press record at the top of the screen, the red circle. The hospital smell combs my nostrils as they go bobbing along green and yellow corridors, leaving behind only books that will not be read and fruitless fruits. And when you're ready, just press stop. That will have recorded your reading into GarageBand. You can now play that back to see how it sounds. The hospital smell combs my nostrils as they go bobbing along green and yellow corridors. And you can now change the presets to see how they change the sound of what your voice. What seems a corpse is trundled into a lift and vanishes heavenward. I will not feel, I will not feel until I have to. So this allows you to get your, your recording to sound just how you want it to sound. Now it's time to add the background music. So I'm going to select the track view option, which is the third option from the top left, just above the seven and my vocal recording is the first track in track view. Now I'm going to use loops to create the background music. So I need to select the loop icon, which is to the left of the cog at the top right of the screen. There are hundreds of loops to choose from, so the best way to find something that fits the tone of your text is to use the search functions at the top. I can tap on instruments and narrow this down just to the instruments that I want. So let's say I want to start with a bass, and then in descriptors, I can have the options of the type of bass loops that I want to choose from. Now this is a Norman McCaig poem, so obviously there's a pretty high chance that something's going to die before the end, so I want to choose something dark. And then if I tap back on Apple Loops, it will just show me the dark loops. And I can tap on any of these. You hear the sound. And then I can drag those in to my track. Tap on the loops icon again. I now want to add some piano. I tap on piano. And again, it's already on dark from my last search. Um, give me survivor piano chords so I can tap on that to hear how it sounds. And if I think it fits the tone of the poem, I can hold my finger on that to select it and drag it into the track menu. I can hear how that all sounds together by pressing play. The hospital smell combs my nostrils as they go bobbing along green and yellow corridors. Okay, I want to add some strings. I can tap on the loops icon again and this time tap on instruments and change it to strings. I can tap on the description of dark and take dark off and say I want some ensemble strings and tap on ensemble tap on Apple loops to show me the ensemble strings and I can listen to Academy All by tapping on it and tap again to stop if I like the sound of that I can hold my finger on it and drag it into the menu behind which will give me a string sound now that you have all the tracks in the track view you can zoom in and out by pinching the screen and change where instruments start and stop by selecting the instrument and dragging the line at the left hand side 
till later in the track. So I think I want the voice to come in at the start with the bass and then the, the piano to join in. combs my nostrils as they go bobbing along green and yellow corridors. So I've set the music, now I just need to set the volumes. I can tap on the strings and go to the mixing icon at the top above the number 9 and that will let me change the track volume down on the strings and then I can tap the piano, turn the piano down a little bit, tap on the bass, turn the bass down, tap on the vocal and probably turn that up a little bit. The hospital smell combs my nostrils as they go bobbing along green and yellow corridors. And I can check how that sounds. The clumsily rises and the round swimming waves of the the strings to be and much And it goes off, growing fainter, not smaller. Now that I'm finished, I can tap on the page at the top left and that will save the song. And if I then hold my finger on that, I can go to share and select song and share. And I can either airdrop this to another Apple device or if I select open in, it will begin to export the song. And when that's finished, I can then save to files and save it into whichever part of the iPad I would like to save the song. Hope you enjoy making audiobooks of your own and I hope that you found this video useful.